Welcome back to the show. If you are a fan of Bet on Jazz, the Jazz Channel, then you've no doubt caught a little show called Jazz Discovery. Well, it's an international talent showcase and competition where amateur and professional music videos are submitted, critiqued, and then scored by a panel of industry experts. It's a lot of fun for me. I host the show, but I'm sure it's kind of nerve-wracking for the contestants. And we just happen to have one of them on board right now, so we'll find out how nerve-wracking it is. Jared McKinney's video was aired in November of 1997 and promptly earned him a right to the shot at the big one, the prize as a finalist. And although he didn't win the grand prize, it's obvious that Darren was already a rising star. He'd already released his debut, Inner Prism, and since then has opened for such acts as Wayman Tisdale, Marion Meadows, and Roy Ayers. Not only is Darren an accomplished musician, but he leads a not-so-secret double life. In other words, he's got a day job that is just as arresting as his plane because, da-da, he is a deputy with the Wayne County Police Department in Detroit, Michigan. Really happy to have him with us here today. Please welcome Mr. Darren McKinney to the show. Hello and welcome. Hi, it's a pleasure to be here. Now, you know, I've been kind of teasing the audience with the arresting, you know, other secret life. It's not really so secret. A lot of musicians do have a regular day job. Yeah. But how does a sheriff's deputy in Detroit, Michigan play the smooth? the jazz sax so nicely as you? Uh, a lot of time. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was actually uh, a jazz studies major in college as well as a criminal justice major at Southern University. Mm -hmm. So, quite naturally, I've been able to incorporate the, both of them and yeah, it is. And it's interesting that being a sheriff's deputy didn't stop you at all because you actually, didn't you form yeah. a band? <laughs> it's like you're really incorporated as yeah. <laughs> yeah. pleasure with the work, yeah. I put a band together uh, called the Jam Squad, which was uh, changed to the Brown Bears. And the inspiration behind that was the Detroit Police Department Blue Pigs, which is a band that's been in existence for the last 26 years. Wow. And I remember them as a child. And them coming out and uh, promoting uh, drug awareness and crime prevention overall. And the thing that really uh, tickled me was the fact that these police officers were playing instruments. Right. <laughs> but that stuck with me all my life. Mm -hmm. And when I uh, hired on with the uh, sheriff's department, I saw an opportunity to do that. And I took advantage of it. And we've been successful with that. Oh, that's so neat. Now, in, in your in your real day job, do people recognize you? I mean, because you've gotten exposure from oh, Jazz yes. Discovery, so oh, yes. are you now called like the, the sax, you know, cop? <laughs> do you have like, some kind of little nickname or something? Uh, the fact that I do have a nickname, <laughs> and I guess an accolade for Kenny J, they call me McKinney J. <laughs> <laughs> Jazz Discovery, did someone say, hey, there's this neat show I'm going on jazz, you want to submit something, or did you catch it? How did that happen? I've always watched the show, mm -hmm. and when we were putting the CD together, um, I, I thought, I said, that would be a great opportunity to get some exposure and not have to pay a whole lot of money. <laughs> right. So um, <laughs> we took advantage of it, and, you know, we, we spared no expense with the video, but um, did the video, sent it in, and... And by the grace of God, we were successful. Yeah, you really were. Now, did you do this independently? I mean, yes, I did. all on your own. Yeah, that's it, tough. It's tough. It was a family affair. Mm -hmm. I had to send it all out to my uncle Donald, my uh, my cousin Mike. Um, they pulled together, got the resources, and put it out there. They believed in me, and they believed in uh, our work. And here we are. Yeah, in a prison. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, and you're working it, and you've actually had a lot of opportunity. Jazz Discovery did a lot of great things for you. You've ended up opening for a lot of people and actually have done a lot of networking, met a lot of musicians. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, just three weeks ago, I had the fortune of opening for Regina Bell. Oh, great. And recording artist. And, um, and since the video has aired, I've been getting calls from the big promoters in Detroit and have been able to open for a lot of the big acts that come to Detroit. It's quite fun. I hear you're working on another project. Working on another project. And in fact, um, that project I hope to have done this year. I'm currently shopping for a record deal. Right. And, uh, and as a matter of fact, I wrote a song called A Call to Courage, which is a tribute to the badge. Oh, that's right. And um, this song I hope to um, uh, record this year, of course, on the city. And, you know, and it's a song that 
uh, any person that's in uh, law enforcement or they are in a public service on a job. We definitely appreciate it. Yeah, they will certainly uh, relate to Oh, absolutely. Well, so. thank you so much for being with us. Darren McKinney, Inner Prism, or McKinney G, as you uh, <laughs> friends call you. So happy to have you with us. Thank Matter of fact, what we want to do right now is toss to the video, Inner Prism, by McKinney. McKinney G. <laughs> Darren McKinney. <laughs>